Peninsula Petroleum, Global Bunkering with Local Knowledge. These are difficult times for ship owners, but you seem to be optimistic about the outlook. outlook. How come? I think uh, I've been in the business for over 30 years now. Uh, when everybody in the industry is concerned that things are going to be terrible forever, whenever there's a consensus, those that bet against it usually win. And I think that uh, the consensus is that everything's going to be lousy. The upturn will come a lot sooner than we think. How do you see the opportunity, risk balance, of making a call in the tanker market at the moment? I think the uh, risk balance right now is, uh, leads one to caution. And it's more the external uh, shocks, what's going to happen in Washington, what's going to happen in Greece, what's going to happen with the euro. Uh, it's things like that. So I think today is still a time to improve your balance sheet, cut costs, improve your operations, and be patient. And patience has always rewarded everybody in the shipping industry with good opportunities. They will be there. And because the world is deleveraging, the risks of the opportunities run away from us uh, have never been uh, smaller. How are you preparing at OSG to capitalize on the opportunities when the time is right? We have reduced our G&A by almost 50% over the last four years. We're in the process of returning a lot of chartered and ships that were more expensive in today's market. That'll be a $40 million swing alone in, in this, this year, from last year to this year. Uh, we are raising incremental capital. Uh, I think Mr. Elliott said we raised $800 million over the last four years. It's actually, over the last two years, it's actually $1.35 billion. So we are doing all those small things and big things to make sure that we get through this, this bad cycle, uh, ensure ourselves that, even, that they, if, if things stay bad longer than we believe they will, we'll still be around, and then we'll be there with opportunities.